Hey guys, what's up? This is Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I have a very fun feature for you on the hidden effects inside of Reason. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but there are quite a few multi-effects units that you don't think of as having multiple functions, and you can actually access these and make them do some cool stuff that you wouldn't normally expect, despite what their name is. But also, certain instruments have effects that you can use that only exist within those instruments. So I want to show you both of those things. Let's start out with the instruments though. Um, this here is a Kong, and the Kong actually has a bunch of effects that only exist within the Kong. But um, you can actually get to these effects by doing some audio routing, and then you can apply these effects to any other audio signal you have. So I did a video on that um, previously, there's a link up there, and there'll be a link down there. Um, but I just want to show you what some of these effects sound like. So we'll just, um, like I said, you can apply this to any audio. It's not just inside the Kong. But we'll just use the Kong as an example. So I'm just going to hit play here. So here we have a transient shaper. And there's not a transient shaper by default and reason. So you can totally change how your drums sound. Um, you've got a compressor. There's lots of compressors in reason. I don't think there's anything super special about this compressor, but it exists. Um, there's a filter, which you don't necessarily have directly in reason. You can obviously fake this in a lot of ways, but you know, bot, low pass, band pass, Um, and it's a good sounding, easy to use filter. This overdrive slash resonator here. Lots of cool sounds in this, and it sounds good with instruments as well. It just mangles sounds in a cool way. Parametric EQ, no real need to use this. There's better ways of doing it. A rattler makes things sound more snary, but you can also kind of use it as a spring reverb, so check this out. Really far out stuff there, right? Add a few delays, pretty cool. A ring modulator. Um, you get the picture. There's a lot of, the tape echo here is different from the regular echo and the room reverb is different from the stock reverb. All right, so we've got that out of the way. Explore the effects in Kong. Again, there's the link up there to see how you can route your audio into it. Um, also, I want to remind you to take a minute to uh, like and subscribe to the channel and also leave a comment if there's other hidden stock effects and reason that I forgot about. Um, I think I probably glanced or glossed over a few, um, but what we've got here now in the second section is a Dr. Octorex and a bunch of the other hidden effects, um, or semi hidden effects, at least things you wouldn't think of initially. Um, and they're all bypassed. So you're not going to hear any of them. I'll put them on one at a time. So here goes just the Rex pattern, standard old drum beat. Let's just turn it up. So the pulverizer is a great squashing compressor here. If you really want to squash sound, and then you can also blend the wet dry. It's also got a pretty good dis distortion. Like, that's just a rock and drum sound. Um, but let's bypass those two things and show you a couple of the other cool features it has. It basically can also act as a tremolo by using, this is the waveform here, and it syncs to volume, so. And so. Um, and if we were to like change this to a, I don't know, bass acoustic guitar.
that's a little too extreme. And then you can even add a spread to it, which creates a crazy stereo. Right, so when you think of a pulverizer, that's not really what you think of. Let's move on from there. There's also some, it's also a filter, does some fun stuff. The next is the Vocador, which is also a great EQ, actually. You've got Vocador mode, um, which we're not using, but in EQ mode, you can just, you know, there's not a band EQ in Reason uh, by default. And you know, I can do a 32 band. 512 band or whatever that is. Um, so that's really cool. There's the stereo imager, which you can use to expand the stereo field, yeah. But you can also use it in a few other ways. For example, you could solo the high band, and then the crossover becomes a filter. Or solo the low band in reverse. High pass or low pass filter. And then you can also use it to do stereo splitting if you want to apply effects to different areas, but that's a whole tutorial that I need to do one of these days. Uh, the next is a Neptune, which is a pitch shifter, sure, but um, it also actually has this really cool formant filter, which is kind of like a, you know, it's not correcting pitch, it's, I mean, it does pitch a little bit. It's partly pitch, but it's different than pitch. It filters and pitches. Or you could also transpose it. Um, and then we also have the RV7000, where if you use some of the reverb or the impulse responses, uh, they simulate things like guitar cabinets, effects, and all sorts of stuff like that. And so it's not working as a reverb, but rather as like a effect. Um, so this here is like a guitar cabinet. Let's bypass this. Clear. And this sounds kind of like an acoustic being played through a guitar cabinet. So there's a lot of hidden effects in Reason that, yeah, the effect is supposed to do A, but it also does B in kind of an interesting way. Um, and I hope you found this really just inspiring as a way to dig deeper into Reason and see some of the other cool stuff you can do that um, demonstrates the way it can be so flexible. And like I said earlier, please leave a comment below if you think you've got some other hidden effects that I didn't cover here, because um, this is always what I enjoy geeking out on. So hope you have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.